Meta's Zuckerberg places its simulated intelligence future in the possession of 600,000 GPUs. In less than two minutes, Meta's president, Mark Zuckerberg, spread out the organization's computer-based intelligence plans, which incorporated an arrangement to fabricate a man-made brainpower framework with what could be compared to 600,000 NVIDIA GPUs. First, thank you so much for tuning into today's video. If you found the content helpful and insightful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest finance tips and insights. Your support means the world to us, and we're thrilled to have you as part of the Finance Savvy community. By subscribing, you not only stay updated with our upcoming videos but also contribute to the growth of our channel. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future topics, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. We love hearing from our viewers. Thanks again for being with us. Stay financially savvy, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, and have a fantastic day. Now, back to the article. Quote, I'm bringing Meta's computer-based intelligence research endeavors nearer together to help our drawn-out objectives of building general knowledge, publicly releasing it capably, and making it accessible and valuable to everybody in our day-to-day -day routines as a whole, unquote, Zuckerberg said in a video posted on Twitter. Zuckerberg's declaration was a refreshed guide of Meta's man-made intelligence plans, which is working around the forthcoming Llama 3, which is at present being prepared. It will succeed last year's Llama 2 model loads and tokenizers, which were significant victories with just shy of 2 million consolidated downloads on Hugging Face. Open source engineers have additionally delivered great many Llama 2 forks. Llama 3 will contend with Google's as of late delivered Gemini model and OpenAI's GPT-4 and impending GPT-5 models. OpenAI chief Sam Altman has not discussed GPT-5 at this point however has implied that it would be a lot simpler to deal with text, discourse, and pictures by supporting more information sources. Quote, we are building a monstrous measure of foundation to help this before the current year's over. We will have around 350,000 NVIDIA H100 or around 600,000 H100 counterparts of register assuming you incorporate other GPUs, unquote, Zuckerberg said. That implies Meta's complete number of GPUs will be more than the number of inhabitants in around 70 nations. Meta will likewise be utilizing AMD's MI300X GPUs. Meta conveyed servers with the MI300X GPU in record time. Quote, MI300X, use the OCP module, standard, and stage, which has assisted us with taking on it in record time. MI300X is one of the quickest sending arrangements in Meta's set of experiences, unquote, said Ajit Matthews, ranking executive of designing at Meta, in a dramatic appearance at an AMD occasion a year ago. NVIDIA will begin transporting the H200 GPUs one year from now to replace its H100 GPUs. There are signs that NVIDIA will increase H100 GPU shipments, which have been in enormous interest, as it slopes up H200 shipments. Organizations are holding up many quarters to get NVIDIA GPUs, and Meta's 350,000 GPUs are a Goliath request. In any case, NVIDIA is gradually satisfying shipments, focusing on bigger clients, yet additionally meeting more modest orders set by Bitcoin-turned-artificial intelligence server farm organizations. Meta is likewise remaking its server farms to zero in on GPU processing. Meta is building Uber bunches with a huge number of gas pedals. The organization of centers is coordinated as a cross-section, with a data transmission of 1 terabyte each second among gas pedals. The organization has 21 server farms worldwide, and the latest one opened in DeKalb, Illinois, runs on environmentally friendly power. Yet, Many more GPUs will be expected to meet Zuckerberg's definitive objective, to construct fake general knowledge, which is more a computerized form of the human cerebrum. Quote, the up-and-coming age of administrations requires constructing full broad knowledge, fabricating best computer-based intelligence partners, AIs for makers as organizations, and more that needs to propel in each space of computer-based intelligence from thinking to wanting to code to memory and other mental capacities, unquote, Zuckerberg said. Zuckerberg made sense of how the metaverse technique is attached to its artificial intelligence plans. 
Tactile contribution from people, pictures, sounds, discourse, will be in every way taken care of into multimodal AIs, and the result will be on metaverse gadgets like glasses and headsets. At the present moment, computer-based intelligence models are isolated as chatbots, message-to-picture generators, and then some, in any case, those will all converge to introduce data in a manner that matches how people process data. Quote, Individuals are likewise going to require new gadgets for man-made intelligence, and this unites simulated intelligence and metaverse because, over the long haul, I think a ton of us will converse with man-made intelligence as much of the time over the day, unquote, Zuckerberg said. One model is Ray-Ban's Meta-Shrewd glasses, which are based on Qualcomm's chips. With the item, Meta presently conveys the banner for savvy glasses regarding everyday usefulness, said Field Bits of Knowledge and System Expert Anshul Droop in an item survey posted a month ago. Quote, These glasses are the ideal structure factor for allowing a computer-based intelligence to see what you see and hear what you hear. So it's consistently accessible to assist, unquote, Zuckerberg said. Zuckerberg implied that Llama 3 will probably be Meta's first multimodal model that upholds sight sound and discourse input. Llama 2 was only a chatbot that gave a brief where clients could clarify some pressing issues and gather stories. Meta has a dispersion advantage over Llama 3. The open source nature implies that anybody can have the model, and Llama 2 was offered cloud administrations by Google, AWS, and Microsoft. Meta never delivered its own facilitated administration for a Llama 2 chatbot, and clients could utilize it through administrations like Hugging Chat or by downloading it to their PC. Quote, This innovation is so significant, and the open doors are perfect to the point that we ought to open source and make it as generally accessible as we capably can so everybody can benefit, unquote, Zuckerberg said. Zuckerberg is additionally arising as the essence of open-source computer-based intelligence, and he in a roundabout way hammered OpenAI and Google for their shut-obtained way to deal with simulated intelligence. OpenAI and Google took advantage of public examination and open-source engineers to fabricate their computer-based intelligence technique yet went shut-source to capitalize on man-made intelligence. Transformer models from OpenAI and Google are only accessible through their sites, except Microsoft, which has constructed its simulated intelligence system on OpenAI's GPT models. Meta quote, has normal programming stages like PyTorch that everyone utilizes. It causes the whole field to speed up because you have many individuals dealing with it, unquote, said Jan LeCun, boss simulated intelligence researcher, during a conversation at the World Financial Gathering in Davos last week. Meta focuses on security and obligation in its man-made intelligence advancements, which are as of now highlighted in Llama 2. The organization has proactively managed numerous political discussions and might need to stay away from any open or political backfire. Llama 2 has managed learning methods to weigh results, which is a change from the change to unaided models in more current transformer models. Zuckerberg didn't remark on when the organization would deliver Llama 3. However, the organization sent Llama 1 and 2 last year, with the deliveries 10 months separated. Again, thank you so much for tuning into today's video. If you found the content helpful and insightful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest finance tips and insights. Your support means the world to us, and we're thrilled to have you as part of the finance savvy community. By subscribing, you not only stay updated with our upcoming videos but also contribute to the growth of our channel. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future topics, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. We love hearing from our viewers. Thanks again for being with us. Stay financially savvy, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, and have a fantastic day.